yeah, a Amazon, unfortunately, Amazon Game Studios is a good example of a huge amount of resources, but way, way, way too many cooks. Like Amazon, like their Amazon Game Studios is just, you, you can, you can see in their products. They're all over the place. Like it's just, they're all over. They're trying to do so many things and they don't do anything they're trying to do particularly well. So it just becomes like a mess. Um, New World being a perfect example. Uh, it, it's just, you know, and then Crucible, like what a, oh God, Crucible. What a giant waste of resources. And then we, there was like, what? John Smedley was working on a game for like five years. Didn't even get announced, it got canceled. Think about how many hundreds of people had their salaries paid for years. And then they didn't even announce the product. <laughs> like, my God, talk about just, again, flagrant waste of resources. Um, just terrible, man. Complete mismanagement of resources. It's it's really unfortunate, too, because, like, I feel like they were in they were in the position to do something really great if they had done it properly. And just nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> just, didn't, just, just no. I guess that's where that ends. That just didn't happen. Just fell apart completely. They thought they could just keep throwing money at it, and they did, and they just ended up throwing away a ton of money. Why does your character look shiny wet? Have you not seen me sprinting nonstop for the last hour? How would you look? I, I literally live in a thin coat of sweat. That is my life. Yep. I think we came in here? Where were the damn stairs? I, dude, I live here now. This is my house. I live in this area now. I'm never leaving it. it did we come in the elevator? We didn't even come in the elevator. We came downstairs. Are these? What's those? This is my house. Have you unlocked your blueprints yet? I have, I have. We were, we were talking about the blueprint system earlier today and how it could use some, some love. Am I also hot? I'm, oh, dude, I'm a snack, are you kidding me? Do you not see this beanie? Oh, oh, you mean in like, like hot? No, no, I'm. Pretty comfortable right now. Yeah, wait. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, yo, he's mailing him with a fish. My man. That dude's going places. Thanks again to the devs for that key giveaway. Congrats to our winner. Oh, cool. Uh, Guardian, one sec. Okay. Um... Oh, hey, uh, Guardians and Aqua. I'm talking to both of you. Which which one should I, which one should take point? You're both asking similar questions. And I really appreciate both of you for the record. <laughs> You're both amazing. But should I talk to Aqua about this or Guardians about this? Is this another gear crate? Oh, no, this is our third weapon crate here. Dude, this place is delicious. All right, Aqua, perfect. Thank you. No, uh, yeah, for the, and for the record, Aqua Guardians is so helpful. It's it's insane. Yeah. Robot fish. Yeah, I really appreciate it, Guardians. I'll I'll check in with Aqua and uh, and go from there. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Can you finish this game? So there, there is a main quest, and the main quest has an ending, but it is a seasonal co-op looter shooter. So any ending ending you get will be continued at a later time, pretty much, yeah. This this game is going to be taking the, the route of, like, major updates um, somewhat regularly. I'm not sure if they've announced their roadmap. I don't know if they've announced, like, X months or anything like that. Like, I'm not entirely sure. But they have said 
that it is going to be one of those games that, you know, gets seasonal updates. Those those updates will get major mechanic updates, probably more story stuff. You know? So I'm sure there will be an ending on release, but don't expect that to be the, the final end. It's a very much a living project. <laughs> Tiger Junkie. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. That's nice of you to say. Don't let me fool you, though. I'm actually a huge ass. Scout set. Oh, but only 10 fragments. Bummer. So that's probably not enough. Um. Oh. Okay. Use that. Use that. So now we have two scout items. So we could get roll speed increase. Uh, I want that movement speed increase. Wait. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't need that. Just kidding. Um, Where's the scout breastplate? Savior. Scout. Didn't I just get a scout? There it is. Zero of ten. Oh, it must have been something else. It must have been something else. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. Was it this? Maybe it was that. Just sworn it showed the breastplate, but whatever. Dad, am I tripping? Did it show the breastplate? Oh, you think I just got the armor? Wait, no, no, I'm pretty sure it said 10. Oh! You got 10 fragments from the breastplate, but you used the fragments on the head and mask. Oh. So why did I loot a breastplate? Why didn't I just loot scout fragments? Or did I? Is that what I did? Is breastplate just the default image? It always shows the chest. Okay. Okay. So what they've essentially done is you no longer loot like blast helmet. You loot blast fragments or or fragments for that tier and then you can use those fragments on any of the items of that tier of that set interesting they need to make that a lot clearer yeah you even see here they're grouped into like yeah they need they I think what I think the issue we're running into here is we have like two different systems that are kind of overlaid and that's causing a lot of confusion. Because like we have the old system that worked differently and now we have this new system but they're using the same interface. Like yeah, I feel like they need to kind of they need to redo this interface with the new system or at least make it more It's a cool system. I like the system. They just need to make it more usable. The usability is a little low on. It. Need to make it more approachable. Mm -mm. But yeah, that's I like the system. I think that's cool. Letting letting the player choose, you know, where they put that is kind of fun. Also, that way you won't run into like one of those annoying situations where you're like trying to farm for a specific piece and you keep getting the other pieces and it's just annoying. So that's cool. I like that. Wasn't that the same as last beta? No. So last beta was a little bit different because they you could break down blueprints and and it kind of worked like this. But this is a more approachable version of that but it's different so like it it's an evolution of the previous system but now it works different it fundamentally works a little differently oh, oh guardian angel says no it was the same in the last beta that's not how i understood it working in the last beta though or did i not understand it last beta maybe i didn't understand it last beta did they change anything in this system? You're probably getting old. Oh no, I'm already I already am old. 
Because I remembered, I remembered looting. I thought I remembered looting different actual items. I don't remember just looting breastplates. Or is that the case? Or have we always just looted breastplates? Yeah, I thought that's how it worked before. You can get the actual item itself in loot and not the blueprint fragments. The thing that is new is that gear now drops from crates. Okay, so the new part is that I can get an actual gear item instead of a blueprint. So I could get something in here that's not a blueprint, essentially. Like the guns. Like, we've been getting a bunch of guns that we didn't make. All that's new, and then you can't repair them? Like how we found the LMG earlier. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the actual gear drops are not good. They're just there to help you, like, test and see what you like. So you, you don't want to be using the actual gear drops. Although, interestingly enough, the reason the actual gear drops aren't great is because you can't repair them. But that actually gives the devs a really interesting thing to do because then they could have items drop you can't repair that have like special effects on them and stuff, which is kind of fun. I like that idea, like a, a one-time use weapon that's really strong, but you can never repair it. It's kind of cool. Um, but no, like now, now I'm actually really confused about this blueprint system because I thought... I thought I understood it, but now I'm now I don't think I I think because of the way that I thought it worked and how it changed, now I'm not entirely sure how it works. Because I was under the impression that the there, there's multiple different umbrellas that the stuff's under. You've got the gear set it's a part of. You've got the blueprint fragment group it's a part of. You've got the rarity as well. So how those different umbrellas overlap, I thought changed this beta, but I guess not. Okay, okay, this is from Guardian Angels. Blueprints are looted from the mystery chests and compounds. Yes, you get some blueprints for something, and then it falls into a fragment category. The category you can upgrade with all different blueprints in that category. So Guardian Angels, just to be clear, every time I loot a blueprint that has fragments. Is it always the breastplate of a set type? And that indicates the fragments you get of that set type and tier. And for the record, for people that are here just uh, not knowing what's going on, I'm just trying to understand how this whole thing works. The breastplate is just the picture used, but you're actually just looting fragments. Okay. Okay. So in the last beta, was there any way to get... Oh, you know what? I think I just figured it out. Because, because the blueprint system... Remember just a second ago where I thought I looted the breastplate, but then I made the helmet and the mask? And I was like, where's the breastplate? My, what I thought is that I had already looted the helmet and mask blueprints and just hadn't made them yet. And I'm guessing in the previous beta, I was just going to what I wanted and building that thinking it was the blueprint I got. And that's why I thought it worked that way. And I'm now looking back, that's exactly what happened. But it turns out I was just unintentionally utilizing the system how it was designed. And it was so well designed that it just went right over my head. Interesting. You win this time, Starry Studios. You win this time, I guess. No, but that's cool. That makes a lot more sense. And that, 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 yeah, once, once they, I think for me, the, the confusion came in to where I, I thought I was looting blueprints. I didn't understand I was looting blueprint fragments. I thought there was an actual item in the game world, a blueprint for every different armor type so because that's what i that's how it's been done in the past in other games i've played so this is a a new and interesting way to do it yeah mr scoob says i'm so confused now let me make it really easy for you you don't loot blueprints 
you loot fragments. These are a currency that let you buy whatever blueprints you want from this blueprint store. That's what it is. You loot blueprint currency, and this currency lets you buy blueprints. It's essentially how it works. Although it is limited by set and tier and things like that. But that's, as far as I understand, that's how it works. Now, weapons are different. Um, but, and I mean, please, devs, or, or dev-adjacent people, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. You, you're looting blueprint currency, and then you spend it on your sets as you need to. Yep. And then what's even cooler, what's even cooler, is not only do you unlock the blueprints with the currency, but you can then also upgrade the blueprints with the currency. So if you get the same blueprint, you can actually, well, if you get the same fragments, but you've already unlocked all the fragments, you can then use those fragments to upgrade the ones you've already gotten, which is cool. Sounds like a complicated system. I think it's, I think the system is easier than we think. Again, it's just not explained or presented to make you feel like it's easy. <laughs> But I think it's actually a lot more intuitive than we're giving it credit for. It's, it's, it's literally as easy as you loot the money, you spend it here. And then if you've already bought it, you loot the money and you spend it to upgrade. The only real confusing part comes in when you try to figure out like, it doesn't really do a good job at telling you what currency matches up with what thing. And in fact, can we identify that? The weapon blueprint is of the hunter style. Oh, I guess that's this. You can see in the bottom left corner. This is an operator style. So if I go here, like this is Wanderer. This is Wanderer. This is Wanderer. So these are all different. They're different armor types, but they're all under the same classification of Wanderer. So theoretically, and this is interesting, if I looted a gas tight breastplate, that would give me 10 wanderer fragments that I could then spend on the sheltered helmet, right? So what I'm also starting to see is that we should not be looting any armor in this game. The only thing we should be looting are these fragments because looting the armor seems to add a level of co of confusion. If I'm not, if I'm understanding this properly, the fact that we're tying loot to the armor, but then the currency is something different. You have to unlock said blueprint first, then you can use fragments to upgrade it. Yep, makes perfect sense. You gotta unlock it to upgrade it, perfect. Oh wait, fragments are, wait, 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 wait. Fragments are to upgrade. Yeah, it's all the same thing, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, fra fragments are the currency used to unlock and upgrade. It's all the same thing, it's all the same thing. Carnifex says this is way too complicated. It, uh, man, yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. Um, uh, the thing is though, is the more I'm looking into it, it's a cool system. I just feel like it's not really well described to the player. Um, wait, Charlie was saying only to upgrade. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think fragments are only used to upgrade because we just got ten fragments from a. We just got 10 fragments of this and I used it to unlock the helm and the mask. So no, you, you definitely use fragments to unlock things. Yeah, that is, that is a hundred percent accurate. Go go loot some more fragments. I know I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to loot some more fragments. We got it. We got to We got to play and test with the system more, man. We need to understand all this. You have to get fragments for the specific piece or use it to upgrade the same class. The fragments have set and have a group too. Oh wait, so you're saying 
that these fragments here, there is another drilled down level of fragment classification. So like even though the memento is an operator and the revolver hammerhead shark is an operator and they both use operator fragments, I would have to get different things to the color. It does mention here, this weapon blueprint is of the juggernaut style. You must spend juggernaut blueprint fragments to enhance it. And then you see the four distinct different colors. So theoretically, if we had one juggernaut fragment, I would then mouse over this and it would tell us which of the colors that fragment is. So in other words, there are not only types of fragments, but there are rarities of fragments. And when you loot a fragment, it is shunted in to first its type and then its rarity. And the reason that's important is because if I looted this operator gun, that would give me purple operator things, which I then could not use for this gun because this is a gold operator there? weapon. Is someone there? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. That, man, this is a thing. Oh wait, Guardian Angel says no. That's not how it works. You use them to upgrade, but not to unlock. Okay. Blueprints to unlock, fragments to upgrade. You unlock by getting the specific blueprint. All right, hold on a second. You just told me that we buy the blueprints with the fragments. Can I join you on voice for two minutes? Yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> 